Before we delve into the details of replication, let's familiarize ourselves with the enzymes involved in DNA replication. There are three proteins involved in the unzipping of the DNA and preparing the template to be replicated. Helicase, which is shown in this blue wedge here, unwinds or unzips the parental double helix, and immediately after, single-strand binding proteins will come over to stabilize the DNA, the single-strand DNA structure. So these purple spheres are the single-strand binding proteins. A few steps ahead um, of helicase is topoisomerase, busy correcting the overwinding of the DNA helix still intact. And this is um, this sort of greenish um, circle that surrounds the DNA double helix. And so what it's doing, it's if you think about how helicase creates a gap between the two DNA strands and pushes the winding from the center of the gap outwards, you realize that what the DNA um, at the edge is doing, it's just coiling tighter and tighter and tighter. And so topoisomerase cuts the DNA, unwinds the DNA um, helix some, and then attaches the DNA back together to prevent it from overwinding. So there are three other main enzymes involved in the creation of the new DNA strand, and these are primase, DNA polymerase, and DNA ligase. And DNA polymerase is also split into one and three, and primase, shown here, um, begins the new strand. This is primase. Um, so it begins the new strand of DNA by first actually synthesizing an RNA primer or a short RNA sequence that complements the original DNA. And the reason why it's not DNA is because um, DNA can't start from scratch. It has to be attached to something, whereas RNA can. So the primase will synthesize the RNA primer and then um, following DNA polymerase can begin synthesizing DNA from the RNA primer. And so this orange little chunk is the DNA polymerase. And um, DNA polymerase 3 is the one that will continue creating the new complementary strand from the primer. DNA polymerase 1 has a job of replacing the RNA primer with DNA after um, the new complementing strand is fully synthesized. And both polymerase enzymes also are proofreading the DNA strands as they synthesize them. A few steps behind polymerase is DNA ligase, which is this blue chunk here. And what ligase is doing um, it fuses together the sections of DNA strands. So for example, right after the DNA polymerase replaces the RNA primer, ligase will come over and fuse the new section of DNA to the rest of the newly synthesized strand. So you can see this is um, a sort of section of DNA that's not um, that's sort of free-floating other than being attached to the complementary strand. Ligase will come over and bridge this little gap. And those are the enzymes for DNA replication.